morning everyone welcome back thank you for joining me, joining me again so i've just come here really just to tidy up a little bit i haven't been to the plot in a few days because it's rained quite heavily so um just having a little look around everything seems to have grown quite well so i'm gonna just double check everything first thing i do want to check is the um melon in the greenhouse or the polytunnel sorry because it started growing huge the other day so yeah really excited to have a look at that i also want to get some peas in the ground because i meant to do it the other day but um i just completely ran out of time so it's first on my list as well um and just do a little bit of de-weeding of where i put some um seeds in the ground the other day as well because i can see it's just getting a little bit messy so i need to be careful i don't actually pull out um the seeds that have started to grow so um yeah let's check out the polytunnel first and then we'll get to planting the peas and de-weeding i don't think it's going to be a big day today um just kind of like tidying up a little bit making sure everything's neat um for the week ahead as well um i'm going to try and pop down here tomorrow but not really sure um if i can pop down tomorrow then i'll put up the structure then but if not i'll do it sometime in the week they'll need to start growing first anyway so um yeah let's check out the melons okay look guys i'm so pleased with it it's getting absolutely huge i probably will need to get it a little bit more stable but because it's climbing up here i don't really know <laughs> how it's going to be best to hold it because it's starting to pull down the um, thing a little bit. So I might try and tighten it up at this point here um, and then maybe get like um, something just to support it a little bit more. But yeah, it's getting absolutely massive. There's a couple more growing as well. I've got one here and on this side, this one doesn't seem to have grown as much, but I do have another one coming up here as well. Um, and there was one over the back as well the other day. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I don't know if you can see it just here. Um, but I think that one might be dying off actually. I'll give it a good water today. Um, but super happy with this one. It's doing so well. It's like the size of my thumb the other day. So super pleased how well that's still growing given that it's um starting to cool down a lot now i think the polytunnel is holding quite a lot of heat which is nice but i do really need to secure it a little bit better um i didn't put it right into the ground um someone really kindly commented that the side bits go right into the ground to secure it a bit more and hold the heat in um and i didn't do that because i wasn't sure it was going to stay here permanently um but i'm kind of gutted because i feel like it's quite a good position and now I've kind of got to redo it all, but um, yeah, I think just for this year, it should be okay. I don't think I'm going to put anything else in the polytunnel for this year. I'm just going to see how the melons go um, and then I'll secure it maybe early next year. Or if I get some time, I might do it towards beginning of October, um, but we're looking to move then as well. So I don't want to put too much on my plate um, and make it an unenjoyable experience. Um, or just something that's like too much and wear myself out and then I can't get down here. So um, yeah, we'll just leave it for now. And then hopefully, providing that the weather holds up, we can just see the train going past. Um, yeah, providing that the weather holds up, then I'll do it in October time, but yeah, we'll see. So I'm gonna get planting on the peas now um, and get them into the ground. I'm gonna put a couple, I think, where the archway is and then a couple actually going up the arch as well so i'll show you that okay so i cleared this area the other day and all down here so this is where i'm planning to put some peas or beans and i might put because i cleared all this down so i'm just planning to put some peas in here and then when they're kind of like ready then they'll start going up the archway here so i'm just going to get them in the ground now I don't know what's going on with these pumpkins, but every time I think that they're dead, 
more of them just cut, start coming up. So, and there is a few more on the top as well. So I know it's not climbing up, up, but I think I'm just gonna kind of leave it. And if it grows and fruits more then perfect. If not, at least I kind of know for next year. But the one that I put in the ground is doing really well. It's climbing, well not climbing, but it's shooting off quite a lot. I'll show you quickly. So it came from the same batch. This is where the root is here. I've got one huge one here. I've got one over here. I've got one at the back there and I've got a new one coming up here as well. There's a few more growing on it. So I don't know whether next year maybe, because I do want to do them again. But I don't know whether to um, plant them straight into the ground next year. I think it might be a better option because they seem to be actually growing a lot more rather than just shooting off fruit. I don't know if I just haven't done it properly into the ground. I mean, they're climbing quite a bit, but yes, it seems to be getting a bit better on the ground itself. Um, I did take the other pumpkin out the other day, the big Tom Fox ones, and I left the other one in because it was still quite green, uh, whereas the other one looked like it was pretty much dead. Um, and I'm pleased it did actually, because it has started growing a few more pumpkins. So this was it here and I cut it down quite a lot because I these are the bits coming off here that were dying. But look, I've got one there and I've got a few more coming up here as well. So please left that in the ground. The broccoli and kale on the other hand, I don't know what's going on with them. So I covered it, but it looks like they've been eating a little bit still. But this one here and this one, the one at the back seems to be absolutely fine and this one here so i don't know whether something's managed to get in there like a slug or something but it's been pretty wet the last couple of days so it wouldn't surprise me and the kale the ones i haven't covered here and here and here oh and this one as well um yeah pretty bad job with those i don't know what it is with kale i just can't seem to grow it i did cover these but I th and they they seem okay, but they're going a little bit yellow. So I don't know if it's because they haven't got enough oxygen. Um, so I need to look into that. But the bits I planted into the uh, little raised bed seem to be doing well. I've got all the carrots are coming up here. And I think it was rocket in here. Um, or spinach, one or the other. I think it's rocket. They seem to be coming up really well. And I've got a couple more here, but it doesn't seem to be growing as quickly as the other side. So we'll see. The bits I planted in this bed though are absolutely thriving. So these are the leeks here. So they look like they've got a little bit better, but the lettuce has gone crazy. So, sorry about four trains went past then, so I thought it was just best to stop. So I'm gonna leave these for now. I don't know whether to start taking some of them out, but I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer before I decide. Um, and see which ones get a little bit bigger. But the ones in the middle seem to be doing really well. And I did notice a couple of bits starting to come up here. I just can't determine what are weeds and what aren't at the moment. So I don't think I'm gonna weed all of these little bit, but I am just gonna take out some of these big ones here um, just to try and give everything the best shot. But yeah, leeks are coming on really, really well. Also, if you saw my last video, you'll see I found these clumps um, and I didn't want to just chuck them because I didn't actually know what they were. Um, and now they've grown a bit more. I've managed to use um, an app called Picture This um, and it actually turns out it's wheat. And I know a couple of you said it, that it was wheat. Um, so thank you so much for that. Um, but I'm going to leave these to grow, I think. Leave the little ones as well and just see what they come out like, I think. Okay, so I've just been turning some of the ground over and just tidying up a little bit, trying to take some of the weeds out um, next to the archway. Um, I'm gonna pop some peas in there as well, just in case the ones by the archway don't take or anything, which they didn't last time I tried to put some in there, but they were already, I was planting them out from a container. So I don't know if they just got a bit, um, what's the word, like shocked. Um, so I'm gonna try and then by the archway and in the plot as well. It looks like it's gonna absolutely drag it down any minute. So hopefully it will just hold out for just even just another half an hour so I can tidy up a little bit more. 
um, it's starting to look really good now, the plot. Well, it doesn't look like tidy good, but actually things in the ground and it actually feels like an allotment plot, which is nice. Um, and I, I'm starting to feel like I know what I'm doing-ish. Um, I feel like things are kind of getting there. So um, yeah, I'm gonna plant the peas in the ground. I'll show you actually where I'm gonna do them. As she says that it started to rain. So what I'm gonna do is, so this is the archway here. I've got four peas along here. I'm gonna put some peas along this bit and I'm gonna put potatoes along here and see if I can get any for Christmas. Um, I don't think it should be a problem with the peas. I did have a little look um, online and I couldn't find anything, but if you know it's gonna be a problem, let me know ASAP and I'll start taking them back out the ground. But um, I'm hoping they'll be far enough away that they won't cause any issue and I can then still get a structure to support the peas when they start to grow a bit more. So two seconds ago, I thought it was going to absolutely pour it down and now it's glorious sunshine. So best get my sunglasses on. Um, but they're all in the ground. So I've put the peas these are along here and the potatoes along there. I know it, you're probably thinking, oh, I've like, wasted all this room, but that is so I can build the structure. Um, and also I need some room so I can be able to get to the pumpkins as well. Um, if they don't work, then I might plant some parsnips in there. However, this is where my onions were um, and I popped them in and they started to do really well. And then we had the second heat wave. So um, yeah, they're kind of just done now, I think. I um, don't know, it feels pretty sturdy in the ground, but what I might do is next time I'm here is take all of this up and put the parsnips in for Christmas. Um, obviously won't need a lot so um, I'll pop them in. I have got some parsnips over in the raised bed here which seems to be doing really really well. Um, the ones at the front have grown a lot bigger you can see the sides of the root there compared to the size of them here. So what I might do is just take these bits out and plant a couple maybe like four more or something in here um, and see how that goes. If not, I can always plant maybe a couple here, just in the space where the sunflower was. That's completely gone. I think um, I can't find the head to this. So I think maybe a bird's taken it or a wildlife or something. So hopefully they had a nice little meal out of that. Um, but yeah, I've got this little patch here as well that I don't really know what to do with. So I can always stick a couple of parsnips in there. But I do feel a lot better now about not trying to make it perfect and everything kind of matching in its beds and things like that. And just kind of saying, right, well, we've got a patch here. Let's chuck that in there. And now that I've done that, I've kind of got that mind frame. Things seem to be going a lot better. So, so if you are just starting out, I know I'm only six months in, but I do highly recommend that you just, just chuck stuff in the ground because it's made such a difference to me and I feel like I've delayed myself by not doing that. So yeah, I say just have a little read through obviously first. Don't just chuck stuff like melons in, in the middle of December because they probably won't take. But I mean, if you know roughly, just chuck them in. Don't worry that it's not kind of like parsnips aren't with potatoes and things like that. But I may be completely wrong and someone's probably gonna tell me off as a, um, an old school allotment now but um so i think that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching i know there wasn't really a lot going on um but there isn't too much to do at the plot at the moment um just kind of 
seeing how things go and progress and trying to go through all of the seasons. So yeah, have a lovely weekend. Thank you again um, and take care. Bye.